my lovelies welcome back to my channel if you're an oldie but a goodie welcome back it is always my pleasure to have you here if you're new what up though my name is amanda and we talk about beauty hair lifestyle topics on this channel so today we have a very exciting video basically what they don't tell you about laser hair removal okay so we're going to get into the pros the cons the ins and the outs and what they don't tell you so you can know and make an informed decision before you decide to get laser hair removal so if you're interested in those details and find it out more you know what to do stay tuned you all for sticking around let's just dive right in so what is it it is a laser light that converts to heat which damages the hair follicle and the hair bulb okay now if you do have this service this service excuse me at laser away they do have a cooling mechanism on the laser so as soon as the laser hits the skin there is a nice cooling sensation like air that is being blasted on the same area as well it helps to minimize irritation and um pain as well it helps to decrease pain level right now you will smell burning hair um, throughout your treatment it is natural particularly on the more denser parts like your brazilian area or on your legs you will smell um burning hair this is normal not to be concerned now you should shave completely before your treatment preferably the night before okay now you don't want to do it the same day because of skin irritation and things as such the skin can be more um sensitive when it is freshly saved shaved so you want to take a minute a couple hours preferably the night before you have your treatment that way your skin can just um you know basically have time to heal before you have this treatment now you also must be free of any makeup deodorant um suntan lotion any of that kind of stuff you want to have a bare clean skin no product on top um you want to also stay out of the sun any sun exposure prior or after your treatment can jeopardize your results so just you know make sure you stay out of the sun in addition to you no know, gyms or saunas you don't want to sweat and um, irritate the skin or clog the pores so just try to stay away from all those things for 24 hours in addition to no hot showers cool showers but not hot okay now that we got into all that let's get into the details that they don't tell you okay so basically let's start with the top one pain no one tells you when you go in for a full treatment that the pain love like the pain will increase based upon how many treatments you have for example when you go in for your first second third treatment okay um the laser is at a certain frequency that is not necessarily painful a bit uncomfortable you might have a couple of like moments of like ee, 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 but for the most part it's tolerable however when i recently went back for my fourth treatment okay now this is four out of eight so i have four more to go i was told that as at this point the laser has to get a little bit more aggressive so they have also my lovelies if you want to see more of the actual process of what it looks like in the actual room when you're getting a laser hair removal treatment go ahead and check out my previous video i'll go ahead and add um Add her in the description box and put a card in this video as well so you can have quick access to that video if you're interested in seeing more content on the actual procedure tolerable however when i recently went back for my fourth treatment okay now this is four out of eight so i have four more to go i was told that as at this point the laser has to get a little bit more aggressive so they have to crank the dial up just to ensure that the treatment is actually going to work and that you're going to get the full results that you need. So as you increase your treatments, just understand that the laser will increase in its frequency. You understand? So you're going to feel more pain. Now, what that means, instead of the little zips and zaps that you felt before, the whole time you're going to be like, Again, not unbearable, tolerable, but you will begin to feel uncomfortable quicker than in your previous treatments. No one tells you that. 
in all of my research, I did not find that expect pain to increase as you continue to get your laser hair treatments. I thought it would be the opposite. However, that is not true. I want you to know, expect that, okay? Please. Also, understand that this takes time. Each treatment, because basically I'm getting a full um, hair removal treatment. I'm getting both underarms, full Brazilian, and full legs, okay? So expect to be there about two hours. Expect to get really friendly with your technician. Um, they are licensed registered nurses, um, so they are knowledgeable and skilled in what, you know, what to do. However, if you have the Brazilian treatment, you know, expect to get comfortable. You're going to have to, you know, spread ego and butterfly. They get the front and you are to turn around or to lay down rather on your stomach, spread ego, both butt cheeks from the back. Okay. As they get that laser all the way in the crack, um, as well. So it is a full service if you get the Brazilian. So, you know, expect that. Don't be shy. They're a professional. They know what they're doing. You're here for a service. It is what it is, okay? Now, let's talk safety. Overall, this is a pretty safe procedure, but like with any cosmetic procedure, there are risks that are involved. You cannot avoid it. It is a part of the process, okay? Um, some of the things that are, that could potentially be a safety issue, um, you don't want to have any laser next to your eye so if you're getting any um, facial hair removal please you know stay clear of the eye area if you are pregnant it is not recommended to do this um, treatment during pregnancy um, you might have some skin irritation in the sense of some redness some swelling um, even some skin discoloration potentially and the more pigment you are the higher the risk are with these services okay boom now, the kicker, okay, is this. Everyone calls this permanent hair removal. The truth of the matter is, that's just clickbait, provocative marketing, advertising words, okay? We can all frame something in a way or word it in a way that it makes it sound larger than life, okay? And that's exactly what this is. The truth of the matter, it's not permanent hair removal because you will still grow hair period like you will continue to grow hair accurately what it should be called is permanent hair reduction because the truth of the matter is um you will still grow hair but never like before it will never be as thick or as dense as it was before you had this treatment so you will grow hair um you know and you will have to shave potentially or whatever but it is going to be a lot quicker more effective process in addition to the laser does help with um, ingrown hairs and just overall a very soft subtle supple smooth surface so it does help with that okay it will help with the quality um, and the texture of your skin. It feels smooth. You don't feel any stubble, no bumps, no ingrown hairs. As you can see, it's pretty uniformed, you know, um, as best you can, you know, these are underarms, you know, but this is in its natural state. Um, so that is some of the benefits from the treatment, you know, permanent hair reduction, smoother, softer skin, okay? But it is not permanent. It is actually recommended after I was already involved in this treatment that you come back once a year for what is called a maintenance package, which is three treatments that you're supposed to have once a year just to kind of maintain your results, um, depending upon the thickness, density of your hair, okay? So yeah, that is the truth. Pain will increase. Um, it is a timely process depending upon how many areas you have treated. There are potential um, safety issues, um, skin irritations. Um, don't get lasers next to your eyes. If you're pregnant, go ahead and wait until after you have baby to have the treatment. Um, yeah. Oh, and of course, cost. All right. Cost. This is an expensive you know, treatment, but like all beauty treatments, more or less, it is pretty much expensive. I mean, I've never really, like, everything is expensive. Eyelashes, makeup, your nails, your hair. I mean, everything kind of adds up and everything is really expensive in the beauty world, which is why it's big business. Um, 
so expect to pay money you know it is what it is um for my treatment it is three thousand dollars um for the full eight treatments um tipping and all that is discouraged with laser away so it's pretty much that's the rate that's what it is um yeah it is what it is you know what i mean guys if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please go ahead and chime in down below follow me on um instagram at neatly chic for you know more updates um about this type of stuff follow your girl if you haven't already subscribed to the channel go ahead and click that like button and tap on tap, tap, tap on that bell if you will but yeah there it is, the truth about laser hair removal, what they don't tell you, okay? Thank you, my lovelies. Until next time.